teacher strikes across western Washington. Classes are canceled today in the Seattle, Kent, and Eatonville school districts as those districts and their teachers remain at odds over their contracts. Team coverage ahead this morning on King 5. Angelique Cockaday live in Eatonville with the latest on the strike affecting you families there. First, let's get to King 5's Kayla Lafferty live in Seattle, where teachers will also hit the picket lines in the coming hours. Kayla, what's the latest here in Seattle? Well, the Seattle Education Association tweeted at 4.30 this morning that their bargaining team was up at work and ready to continue bargaining to figure out this contract with Seattle Public Schools. But one thing as this strike is happening is a drop in enrollment in Seattle Public Schools. With a drop in enrollment comes a drop in funding, and with a drop in funding comes stress from parents about the quality of the education their, their students are getting, and a stress point is special education. That's something that teachers are calling for in these contract negotiations, and it's something that a parent I spoke to said she fights for every day. Across the U.S., the pandemic brought the largest single-year drop in public school enrollment since World War II. And here in Seattle, data shows public schools will continue to see their numbers fall. Unfortunately, our trend right now is, is still down. In the 2019-2020 school year, there were 53,630 students. The 2020-2021 school year saw 52,381 students. 1,200 less than the previous year, and predictions for the next several years show the drop as a trend. According to data from the district's budget meeting, the enrollment rate is predicted to drop by several hundred to a thousand each year until 2026. And according to Seattle Public Schools, enrollment is down due to families moving away. As well as nationwide, there's a declining birth rate. Money from the state to the schools is based on enrollment numbers, and there's been a decline. When there are less students, less money from the state is allocated to the district. And that's bad news for parents who feel the district is already underfunded. Parents like Cheryl and Crowther. You like, I know you like to read. I like to read books. Crowther's son Max was born with physical and intellectual disabilities. She is board president of the Seattle Special Education PTSA. Thank you. He needs specially designed okay. instruction, modified curriculum, those types of things. But we're also talking about students who have dyslexia, who have ADHD, who have anxiety, who have autism. A statement from SPS to King 5 reads in part, the district routinely strategizes to prioritize providing the best possible education for students. In general, decreases in funding may necessitate shifting staff in some schools. Crowther says special education is already understaffed and under-resourced, and shifting staff causes extra stress on a system that's already near a breaking point, especially after the challenges COVID-19 brought to education. Education for students with disabilities was never done right, but we really need inclusion in every school, and we need the support, we need the, we need the funding, State needs to provide the funding to make sure that students like my son and students like you experience that they know how to be in the classroom and that everybody does better. And we did ask Seattle Public Schools for an on-camera interview on their dropping enrollment rates and what that means for the budget. They told us they may be able to provide an interview down the line once they get the official enrollment numbers for this school year. But with that, we'll send it to Angelie Cockaday, who's in Eatonville, where teachers are also striking. Good morning, Angelie. Yeah, good morning, Kayla. So listen, the lights are on here inside Eatonville Middle School, but starting at nine here and then at the high school later this morning, teachers will be out here picketing and parents getting that message that school was canceled last night. But again, this is not going to be a complete surprise. Teachers had spent Labor Day weekend sharing their community petition and car and window signs. There was some sense of hope yesterday, though, when teachers did hold open houses to welcome students. But then after another round of unsuccessful negotiations last night, Night, the union Eatonville Education Associations claimed the district continued to decline offers to speak about issues like class size, staffing and workload. Now the union president is putting the pressure on the new superintendent Gary Neal, saying he can choose to do the right thing and settle a fair contract. Now in that message to parents last night, the district apologized for the inconvenience to families. They also said they will keep families updated with any new information as they get it. For now reporting live here in Eatonville, Angelique Cockaday, King 5 News.